Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Uh, today we're talking about a weird subject. This isn't a review. This is talking about Kanye West. Um, he's back on Instagram. He just released new music and it just made me think of something um, that it's really hard sometimes to separate the art from the artist. And I've just been on record by saying Kanye West makes the best music that I've ever heard in my entire life. Um, but after what he said, he's an anti-Semitic, just not good person. And what he's doing, I think, is far worse than that, too. Um, but this is one of the first times where it's been really hard for me personally to remove myself from the spirit of the art that's being made. And I kind of just want to go over this just because it's kind of confusing me and I need an outlet to kind of get this out here, too. So just as a short background, um, I've been a fan of Kanye West music for just years since he started making music, at least that I've heard, what, in 2005. And I've had good memories made with the music that came out. And it just, for my entire life listening to it, it just made me feel good. Like, it just, some songs were uplifting, some songs were powerful, some songs were really, really sad, including the one about his mother. Um, it's just been like a roller coaster of emotions, but it always just like, I believe he's the best orchestrator of talent and music currently and maybe for everybody for, for my entire life, everything that I have ever really seen. But one thing is, um, one thing that's really weird is after he started making terrible comments, I could not I could not feel the same way about the music that came out. I could still see people making uh, reels with the new music, sorry, with older music that he's put out, and just kind of, it irked me. It did, didn't feel as it did before, um, where I could just put on a Kanye West song and it would just feel right. It would get me in the mood. It would bring me to a place of understanding where I felt like he knew what people were talking about on a massive scale. And I really loved listening to the music, but now, whenever I hear anything that he's put out, minus this one song, um, it just doesn't feel right. It just feels like something that, yeah, the spirit isn't there anymore, because I know the man doesn't feel that way at all. And until, that was happening until I, I clicked on Kanye West's new post, and he put a new reel out here. And he always has been shuffling, you know, he was suspended or banned from Twitter. He was suspended and banned prior from Instagram. And now Twitter suspended him. So he's back on Instagram. Why would they do that? I don't really know. It doesn't really make sense to me. But he put out some statements that were disgusting. But then today I see this image and I'm like, okay, this is probably just another image that he puts out. And I see it's actually a reel with music. And at first I think, okay, this is somebody else's song. This is a pretty good song. And then it just, it has that soul of a Kanye West song. And it just kind of, it filled me with something. And I don't know what that is yet. It filled me with like a sensation of purely, this is just good music. It's a very soulful thing that just kind of speaks to me and most likely speaks to everybody who's a music fan out there. Um, and as I heard the entire song, um, at the very end, it does even quote uh, the beginnings of the statement where he shows his appreciation for a terrible human being. And he kind of uses that in the, as an outro to his song. So it's really conflicting listening to this. And I even made like a little Instagram post myself about how hard is it to remove uh, a person who's a terrible person from art that's being made, if you can appreciate art. And the, how do you do that? How are you supposed to do that? First, this is something I believe, it's your choice to make. Every single time, it's absolutely your choice to make. Um, you will go down the path that you see is correct and you'll commit to that. And that's just, your, again, that's your choice 100%. Not saying it's a good choice, a bad choice or anything, but we have the choice and we can make that. We can feel conflicted about our choice too. We can feel empowered by the choice that we made. You're like, yes, I stand behind this person. I'm going to go for it. Or you can be almost where I am, where I'm like, this 
person is making music that somehow just makes me feel an emotion and I can still understand that he's a terrible person I can still my body just like it feels emotion it just it creates this so it's really hard for me I'm conflicted I hate the person I was thinking I'm never going to support this person again which means never buy anything he puts out never you know go to any concerts never do anything again and I made that choice and I'm trying to hold firm to it and then I heard this song that came out and just it's really conflicting um, maybe even just I don't know if you could hear any of that, but it was just like a very small snippet of a soulful, which is what he does. He samples soulful music, either recorded in the past or he specifically records this for his song. I don't know what this is. I didn't really look into it, but it just, it's really odd because I know in my mind, in the past, all of the, his entire collection of music has now been tainted in my mind where every time I hear something it just doesn't it doesn't land the same way that it did and now he's come out with these terrible statements and then he puts out this new music and I was always like one of these people like where somebody else said okay he's gonna come out with new music and people are gonna forgive him and forget him and I was thinking in my mind there's no way there's no way that I would go and support somebody who is so uh, disillusioned. Delusion? Disillusioned? I can't really think of the word. Um, and really making statements that hurt people in general, just because he's finding things about himself doesn't matter to the rest of us. Um, and then I heard this song and I was like, not gonna buy anything, not gonna support the guy, but the music that he produces is unequivocal unequivocally just the best that I've heard in my entire life. And I think this really speaks to many people out there. And I know a lot of people out there are gonna be supporting him because they see him coming back and they see him making statements that they want to or that they think are correct, which is terrible in my opinion. But for me, um, I, I, I was trying to think what other case has it been? Um, oh, R. Kelly, the music that he's put out He's put out good music, music that did garner emotion. But after it uh, came out and he's, had, he's now in jail, he's in prison for what he did, um, the music will never land the same way, but he's never, he's never making new music again. But it wasn't to the point where if I lost all of R. Kelly's catalog for my life, I think, okay, that's fine. That's, that's not really something I'm, like, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Maybe I'll be sad a little bit, but it just is something I will be able to move on um, in my life with. Um, losing, let's say, Michael Jackson as well, um, where you can either believe his side of the story, other side, whatever you want. Um, the music still doesn't land the same way. He's a mega, talented artist putting out music. He put out music that was great. Um, and again, his that catalog, I would be fine going away from. If it wasn't there anymore, I'd be fine. I'd really, I love music, but I love that there is so much music out there just to appreciate new musics, old favorites, and you can just kind of mix everything together. I think on my uh, old iTunes account, I had maybe, what? 100,000? I don't even know how many songs, just however many songs I purchased through this. This is before streaming. Um, and it just kind of got me into it. I love exploring new things and appreciating things that I've experienced before. But then it gets to this point where I have to ask myself, this person came out with a new piece of art that really hits, hits on me. And what am I, what am I gonna do with that? What are so many people gonna do with that? Because this is literally posted, what, super, super recently. When was this posted? Uh, a, an hour ago, literally an hour ago this was posted. I'm recording this right now because I really had to like get this off my chest. Um, there's never gonna be a right answer. For me, I don't believe that there is right or wrong. I just believe that there is 
not even good or bad. What he has said is terrible. What he's doing is terrible. It's just not making the world a better place. I think he is discovering something about himself and he is at such a place where he is one of the most important people walking on earth. He's able to overstep um, the barriers that are put in place for a lot of people, but I don't think he's going about it the right way. There's a proper way to speak to people and to lead to people, introduce new information that maybe you found. There are proper ways to do it. And I say proper because some things work and some things don't work. Um, this is a person that really doesn't really want to follow any of the rules, so you can easily see why he is acting the way he is. But um, I think he knows that he has, uh, I really, you could only call it a gift in making music. And he knows that he can make these statements. He can do everything to maybe become his own singular, like, creator. Maybe he wants to create his own clothes. He wants to own his music and release it in the way that he sees fit. He knows that he's just going to remove himself from like all of media, all of like mass creation, like with all of the companies he no longer works with. And I think he knows that his talent alone will still bring in people to purchase from him. I don't know a lot of things. Like I personally, I don't pretend to know a lot of things. Um, I learn things from the news media that everybody else does. I try to do my own research. I know everybody says they do their own research, but research really is trying to look at as many different angles at a, as a, at a certain thing, maybe an event as possible. And then come into your own conclusion. That's really all we can do because not everything is out there for us to see. So I see him as somebody who is, who kind of knows what he has, knows what he can give up. Sorry, that's just the city out there. And he's just on his own roller coaster of a path to, to seeing what he can get away with in the world that we are in here. Again, I didn't write a script for this. This is just something that I really had to talk to some other people about. And again, if you guys agree with me, disagree with me, um, think this is just rambling on, put it in the comments section below because that helps out everybody. Um, what I'm gonna start do, doing more of here is talking about things that will generate a conversation um, I wanted to do this maybe about four years ago. I didn't do it. Um, now we'll be doing more things like this, um, as well as all the product reviews and everything else. And at time, maybe I'll shift this to a different channel, but this is just gonna be something small, and I think it's really important to get it out because I know there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way that I do, that feel conflict in this case, and maybe others. So you guys are not alone. There is never gonna be a right answer. There's just what you choose to do and uh, what everybody seems to be okay with. So guys, um, conflicting day today, a undeniably terrible human being has created art that um, made me not know what to do for at least an hour. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, put everything in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.